we decided to start the DCD program like Patworth has uh, because with DCD hearts they're not offered to the whole pool we can offer to any of our patients that are suitable um, so we started a process with NHSBT uh, to start the DCD program. There was getting dizziness more often, breathlessness, uh, lack, no energy, couldn't do nothing, walking, you were 200 yards and you're having to stop, and you, you just couldn't, you couldn't do anything. It's, it's scary at times, you know, think this, this is my last breath, sometimes you say, this is it. Yeah. Well, this technique, this machine, it's essential, we can't do it without this machine because we, once the donor's confirmed dead, we have 30 minutes to bring the patient to theatre, the donor to theatre, take out the heart and put it on the machine and get it perfused. So we have a very short window of 30 minutes. Then we, we can rest the heart on the machine, get it beating, it gets its own blood supply and uses its own donor blood and keeps it, flo keeps it working and then we can assess it and uh, sees it suitable for transplantation. It's fine between the two sort of hearts, what, what you can get. But I didn't, I didn't realise at the time uh, this was a heart what I was, I was going to get. No, when I put my first cup when I come in, uh, I was a bit uh, wary of it. But I was really glad to just that someone donated the heart for me. Overall, in the UK, they're saying there's a big pool of DCD donors in the past. The lungs went, the kidneys went, the hearts never. Now, this has opened this possibility. So, potentially, they're saying it could increase donor organs by 25-30% potential. Looking at the numbers of donors of fit criteria for, for hearts that never were used in the past, so they're saying potentially 25-30%. Papworth's done 75, they've looked at their results and the results are actually as good, if not better, than DVD transplants. Well, potentially for us, from NHSBT, they're saying we should get between 22 and 24 DCD donors. This in Scotland per year. I would just like to thank the person that's donated this heart to Colin. Plus, I think there should be more donated hearts in this this world because honestly it just it changes the life of everybody in the family, not just not just Colin, everybody that's affected.